I started the project uh, about 10 years ago. Um, I got to the point where I wanted to do something more profound, you know, a little bit more interesting than the uh, stuff that I was being commissioned to do by magazines. And sometimes as a portrait photographer being commissioned by magazines to photograph famous people, you feel a bit like a cork being sort of tossed around uh, on a sea of who happens to commission you. Um, so it's quite exciting. One minute you can be photographing Penelope Cruz, the next minute you can be photographing Tony Blair. Uh, but ultimately, um, I wanted to sort of take control and do something that was um, more profound. Firstly and foremost, really, uh, the project started out as an exploration of, of a part of me, a part of my identity. Um, and then I soon realised that this was a kind of uniquely horrific event that had kind of always been there in the back of my mind. To me, it seemed an obvious project to do um, and, a, and, a, and, a, and a good time to do it because I think a lot of the survivors um, that I've met earlier on in their lives haven't really wanted to talk about what they experienced uh, in any great detail or wanted to put it behind them. And, um, and so I sort of felt I had a window of an opportunity to photograph these people and talk to them about their experiences. And, uh, and, th and they got to a point in their lives where they were willing and happy to do so. Ten years ago, looking at the photo, looking at the video footage that Miriam shot of me, you know, I sort of feel, um, I feel sad for that, for that person, you know, because I, I was going through my own kind of crisis, you know, stuff you have to deal with in life and everything, and I was, in those, in that footage, I'm about 10 kilograms lighter, and um, I think I've got to say that meeting these remarkable people put my stuff into, into context, uh, into perspective. You know, you realise when you, when you talk to some of, it, some of the stories and stuff, you realise that, that what I was dealing with was of very little consequence, really.